Join me in the STEM activity as we learn how to build a simple homopolar motor. To get started, you need 18 gauge copper wire, a AA battery, some neodymium magnets that you can get at the local hardware store. They're very strong, so be careful. You'll also need some wire cutters, and you may find needle nose pliers helpful. Please be careful in using neodymium magnets. They are very strong magnets. They can pinch your fingers and cause harm if swallowed, so please keep them away from young children, pets, credit cards, and anyone with a pacemaker. Also, be very careful when working with copper wire and wire cutters. Both are very sharp. Please have an adult working with you to do this STEM activity. You can go ahead and place the magnets at the bottom of the battery. You'll use this in making your adjustments with the copper wire. The copper wire will need to be able to be shaped in such a way to where it will touch the top of the battery, extend down in a balanced shape to touch the sides of the magnets. I decided to go with a square as a simple homopolar motor to start with. I know it looks simple, but it did take a lot of adjustments in order for it to touch those key points and have balance on top of the battery. I found that the battery was quite helpful in being able to mold my copper wire at the bottom so it would be able to go around the magnets with ease. Any additional copper wire that you have extending, just go ahead and clip that with your wire cutters and then make your final adjustments. Just don't be discouraged if it doesn't operate the first time. It took me quite a while to get my adjustments just right. When your homopolar motor works for the first time, it's very exciting. You just want to sit and watch it. But please know that the wire and the battery will start to heat up and get hot. So just watch it for a few seconds at a time and give it a little break in between so it doesn't get too hot. You may want to choose some other shapes that you find online. I was quite taken by the dancer, but it was the trickiest shape to create. I've even seen some make hearts. When the wire touches the top of the battery and the magnets at the same time, there's an electrical current that flows through the wire. And when the electrical current passes through the magnetic field, it results in a force that moves the wire, causing it to spin around the battery. Now, if you see a little bit of movement, but it's not spinning around the battery, just know that you're very close and you just need to make a few more adjustments. I hope you will check out some of the links that are provided with this video and learn more about the different simple homopolar motors that you can make.